evil seed of what you've done germinates within you. So what is going on guys, it is me Mr. Screener here with another FPS tutorial because the other one was filled with porn comments. Hooray. So today I've got some new techniques, this is only some minor differences from the other ones but they are kind of new and I've got some new stuff to the table that I want to bring you. That was a wrong sentence, but let's move on. So are you tired of having about 30 FPS in Minecraft? Oh, that's, oh, that's outrageous. Yeah, it is. But uh, I want to change that. I want you to have at least 60 plus FPS in Minecraft consistently. So, yeah, how are you going to be doing all of this uh, stuff? You know, you know, you'll have to be a wizard, whisward stuff in order to have 60 plus FPS over time. Yeah. That's what you were going to say, right? No? Okay. But let's move on to the tutorial, shall we? Roll the intro! So what is going on guys, it is Mr. Screener here, and I've already introduced myself, but maybe I should try and introduce you to my new desktop. So it's been redesigned with Windows 10, Loaf of a Living Bread, yeah, he's my new, you know, background, desktop background, picture, whatever. He's also my best friend, you know, he likes to stare into your soul, and if you don't leave a like on this video, he will eat your soul. So please leave a like, and Loaf of a Living Bread won't eat your soul. So let's get on to this FPS optimizing adventure. So most of you guys actually said in the last video that I should try and install Optifine. So I looked at Optifine's page now, and it says that one of the features of this mod, or whatever it is, is this FPS boost. Doubling the FPS is coming. Decreases lag spikes and smooths gameplay. Uh, you know, support for HD textures, texture packs, whatever, variable render distance. We can even get less than we could get to, far, uh, get to before, whatever. Tiny to extreme stuff. So, let's do this. We're going to go on to optifine.net, okay, just type that in and you should get to the home of optifine, but if you're not sure if that will work, just type in optifine.net slash home. So once you're there, click on the downloads button here, and you can see we got a load, like a shit ton of different, op different options to download. So I actually meant versions. Who who cares? I'm tired. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to ch I'm just going to download the latest version, I guess. So uh, this is for 1.8.8. Let's just download that, and I hope this works because I got at lock on. This is mostly for all these weird sites that I'm on to check stuff. So it works. Just skip that. You know, download up to find. It's pretty easy. Yeah, I know. It could harm my computer, I'm just going to keep it. So, once you're done with downloading this file, you can open it up, and this is what uh, you'll have to do. You'll have to click on install. So, that was it. Pretty easy, right? So, yeah. Uh, I also found out uh, about a new thing, so if you go over to your desktop, this is step two, of course, and if you right click in desktop, this thing called display settings will pop up. Now, if you're on Windows 7 and 8, this will be called screen resolution, but nonetheless, just click on it. 
if it'll work on Windows 10, but my Windows 10 is glitching out, so I'm just going to type in display settings here. Display, control panel. Great, so uh, go to adjust resolution here, and we should pretty much get the same thing, even if we are on different operating systems. So, resolution. You can change this to 1280 uh, times 720 pixels. Now, most of us are going to be on full HD monitors, uh, but if you change your resolution to 1280 by 720 pixels, like you'll get a lot more FPS. So I tested this, and I was getting about 300 on uh, full HD. But when I changed it over to 720p, I actually got 700 FPS. I'm not even lying here. I don't like. I can't guarantee that you will get the same amount of FPS. Like I don't. I can't. I just can't guarantee that you'll double. That this will double your FPS. Oh god, I'm tired. I can't speak. But let's move on. So I can't guarantee that you'll get this doubling FPS boost. But if you want to, you can change this to 720p. But for the sake of the video, I just can't. It was just a little tip. So let's get over to step three of this tutorial. So uh, let's type in Minecraft in this search bar, and let's open up our Minecraft launcher. So this is probably the thing I do, the thing I do in every single FPS tutorial, and that is utilizing more RAM. So yeah, I would suggest that you would that you should use your new Optifine profile just because it like it enables all of those weird customizable things, extended, extensive. Customizable things. So uh, just take up to find here has the profile you want to utilize more RAM into. Then click on Edit Profile, like that. Great. Now inside of his profile editor, you can see a low ton of stuff you can customize. But just ignore all of this and go all the way down to JVM Arguments. Click on that so you have a check mark in this box. Now you have, like, again, just a shit ton of weird things inside of this text box here. Delete all of it. Now, what you'll have to type in instead is just dash, okay, uppercase x, lowercase mx, then a number that's going to represent the amount of gigabytes of RAM you want to utilize into Minecraft. I said RAM, not your hard drive or anything. I made the mistake in the first video by saying memory, and most of you, like, and most of you guys actually thought that this memory was your hard drive space, which is not true. It is RAM. So, if you don't know how much RAM you actually got in your PC, I would suggest going on to Google, just typing in, you know, how much FPS, not FPS, but how much RAM do I got in my PC or something like that, and you would get some pretty good tutorials on how to get to know how much RAM you got. So I got 16 gigabytes, and by the way, I only recommend using a fourth of your RAM. That's like the sweet spot for, for FPS. So if you have four gigabytes of RAM, I wouldn't suggest using more than one. It's not recommended for me. Oh, that's a car. Okay, so, um... Again, if you have 8, you can actually use 4 if you have 8, but I have 16, so I'm just going to use 4, because that's like, again, the maximum recommended amount for me. Otherwise, you won't get any other F F FPS boost whatsoever. whatsoever. I've tested this, so, um, um, and after this number, you'll have to type in a uppercase, an uppercase G. Oh god. Holy crap. So, save the profile. Yeah. And then we'll have to go into Minecraft because this is kind of well, we'll have to do some magic stuff in order to optimize more FPS and whatever. We have to boost our Minecraft. So, I'll see you inside of the game. Sorry for being so weird because I'm just tired. But I'll see you inside of the game. Bye. So, welcome to Minecraft! Yeah, this is the startup screen. So, 
We'll have to go into the single player worlds and stuff to get the most FPS out of Minecraft. Of course, if you want, if you want to play PvP and all that stuff, these settings that I'm going to show you inside of this super flat world will still give you a significant boost in uh, FPS. So you'll see a difference no matter what. So let's go into this super flat world. Now, come on, yes, now, if we go into video settings here, okay, so, escape, options, video settings, you can see, oh, okay, just click on video settings, yeah, great, so, when, oh, oh sorry, so, can you see these settings here, these are not my recommended settings, so let's start off by giving you my recommended settings. These are even recommended for low end systems, but these settings will you know they'll look on they'll look great on most systems. That was what I was trying to say. So let's start off by getting a render distance of about 10. 10 is also kind of a sweet spot for render distance, uh, 10 plus, yeah. So 10 is the kind of a sip for sweet spot for render distance, it doesn't hit your performance too hard, but it's also good enough for you to actually look quite far away. Now, if you have a low end systems, I would system, I would recommend 5, but for this video I'm just going to use 10. Oh, I think that was Steam. Who cares? So, graphics. Set that to fast. Fast, okay? Smooth lighting. Lightning. Lightning. Lighting. Ah, ah, yeah, I was about to say lightning there, but lighting. I was act like, I would actually set this to minimum, because having it just to minimum. Having it set to minimum. Yeah. Okay, my star ring is about to get really crazy now, but set this to minimum. Because it will actually not hit your PC that hard, and the difference between off and minimum is not that big. So, smooth lightning level. Let's just set this to 50. Again, this is a new feature that comes with Optifine. GUI scale doesn't really matter. A Cessia smaller GUI might be faster. This is not guaranteed if. You know, it won't be guaranteed that it will boost your FPS. So let's go on to brightness. Doesn't really matter, right? See, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, fuck. Yeah, fuck. Not fuck, but fuck. Um, yeah, set this to fast. You can also set it to off if you really want to, but let's just set it to off because I actually think it's pretty irritating to have uh, turn on uh, details this is kind of where the magic happens so clouds I would set this to fast as well as trees sky uh, oh you can set this to off oh this is actually a good thing if you're playing PvP by the way so you can set this to off as well with Sun and Moon now I don't know if this is really good for PvP but if you really want to you can set it to off so faster, it will be faster. Translucent but blocks. Um, yeah, set this to fast. Uh, dropped items. Let's just set this to mm, fast is 2D. Okay, so let's set this to fast. Okay, vignette. Um, okay, so this will have to be fast. Just follow all of these settings. Cloud height doesn't matter because again. There's no sky. There's no sky at all. Uh, let's set this to fast as well, like that. Stars off. Capes doesn't really matter, and they are hitting the performance a bit, so it will kind of decrease it. Yeah. Uh, handle item tool tips doesn't matter again. Entity shadows turn that off. Okay, we are done with the details, and let's move on to animations. Okay, animations. Turn all of this off if you want to have a lot of FPS. So let's do that. Off, off, 
off, off, off, off, off, off, off, off, no, off, 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 and particles decrease. Okay, all off. Oh, minimum. Okay, so set particles to minimal, like that. Off all the way and minimal. We are done with animations now. Let's move on to bobbing. Bobbing doesn't really do anything, but okay. For using map maps. Uh, sorry, I actually didn't know that. So um, just set it to off. Uh, mid map levels is under quality, I guess. So if you have a graphics card, is you know, the BOS will be a lot. It it will actually be a lifesaver for recorder. Recorders? YouTubers? What do you call it? YouTubers? Recorders? Whatever. Um, and um, why is it a lifesaver in my opinion? Okay, so it does this. It kind of enables the graphics card to work a little harder on Minecraft. As far as I know, I've read this on a tech, tech magazine or whatever. And as it says here, maybe, I don't know, 10, 5 to 10%, if yes, please, whatever, that's what it'll give you. So, turn that on, that's what I'm trying to say. I just get a lot more FPS. Um, alternate blocks, let's just turn that off. But, again, as it says here, it depends on selected resource pack, but if you have some sort of fancy resource pack then just turn it off. I'm going to set this to 2. Uh, quality. Mid map levels I would just turn this to... I would say if you're recording a game I would set this to 1. If you're not recording I would set this to 0. But mid map time nearest, all of this stuff, just turn it off. So again custom fonts. You could actually turn this on just to have a better experience at servers and whatnot. Uh, custom sky, I will turn this off. Uh, random maps, turn that off again. Custom colors, turn it off. Smooth biomes, again, just turn that off. Um, custom font, swamp colors, swamp colors, turn that off. Nice. Okay, so we are almost done here. Quality. Uh, I've, oh, I'm done with that. Performance, smooth FPS, I wouldn't do that. It could create study ring and smooth world. Now, um, I really don't know. Yes, I, I would set it up to on because again, no stabilization, FPS may fluctuate. Fast render, fast bath, all of this just can't be these settings. These are some pretty good things. So, click done. Now, let's try and see how many, uh, how much FPS we actually get. So we're getting about 900, 800, okay, 1000, pretty normal stuff, Minecraft doesn't look that shit with these settings, <laughs> so I kind of re recommend these settings that we've just gone through, and I hope you like this video, if you do, please leave a like, so again, Loaf of the Living Bread will need you, and I'm sorry for being a little stuttery and stuff, it's just because I'm a bit tired, it's been a long day, you know, it's kind of, it's weekend, I'll just have to relax. And, um, I hope to see you soon again, because I like to do these FPS videos, and I'll have to make some new stuff, you know. So, um, please leave some suggestions for what I should do next, and I hope to see you soon again. I'm Mr. Screen Horror, and I'm out. Bye.